Hi there, it's Jennifer Trask and welcome to this episode on how to finish things you start the art of successful follow through. So I wanted to do this video because so many times I hear from coaches and entrepreneurs, they've got a thousand things on their plate and guess what happens? They're always in the midst of projects and they find it difficult to finish them and commit to something. So I really wanted to do a video that was going to help you really get out of that pattern and get into a pattern of getting things done. So there's four steps to doing this. And the first step is to only say yes to things that are a hell yeah. When you only say things that yes to things that are a hell yes, guess what? You're excited about doing them and finishing them. So this ends up creating a healthy momentum for you because you're not doing things that you're thinking, ugh, I just wish this was over. Anyone ever have felt that way? I know I sure have. This moves into the second one. The second most important step of the art of follow through is to start saying no more often. So oftentimes we say yes out of guilt or out of feeling like we should or oh like it won't take me that long so maybe I should just do it. It really is easy for me. But the reality is that every time we say yes to something that is not a hell yeah, we end up putting more things on our plate. And even if something is easy for you or even if it doesn't take a lot of time, it does take up time, it does take up energy, and it's something else that has to go on your to-do list, which thus takes away from the projects that are hell yeses. So what I'd suggest is if you are in a place where you have said yes to things that are not hell yeses for you, then right now, first of all, if there's things you can delegate to other people, do it. If you can get out of it, um, in a respectable way, so you're not leading someone high and dry, then get out of it. And third, if, if that's, if that's not it, then you know what, plan it in and get it done and get it off your plate and don't say yes again, <laughs> right? Keep it simple. Don't say yes again. The third thing that you can do is ensure you have enough time because again, even if something is a hell yeah, Sometimes we don't even have time for all the hell yes. So you really need to prioritize them and make sure they are big yeses. And so when you are considering a project or someone asks you for a favor or you consider going on a, a, a trip or whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is, or you're thinking about doing a new marketing campaign or a new marketing tactic or whatever, look at it. Look at your current commitments. Look at what are your highest priorities. Like, are you having time to exercise and eat well and be with your family and um, uh, do uh, work with your clients and get your consistent regular marketing out and so on and so forth and any other important obligations that are at the top of your list. And then you say, okay, do I realistically have enough time to bring this in? Or is this, even though, I, even though I'd like to do it, is it going to cause me stress or is it going to add value to my life? And you know, you might say, well, this, God, this is so simple, of course, but a lot of people don't do this. They just say yes a lot because they don't like saying no to people. But again, we have to go back to always say yes to hell yeses say no more often. The third one is to make sure you have time for it because maybe right now you don't, but maybe in three months time you do, right? There's, there's something in my head, a particular project that I want to get started on. But when I, when I did step three, which is, okay, do you have enough time? And I thought right now I do not. And I would just be driving myself crazy. So I'm going to wait. And guess what? I get to go to sleep at night and not worry about having a project on my hands that really I can't handle just due to volume, right? 
Great, so the fourth one is to plan appropriately. So when you have the projects that you have, pre-plan your days. You know, make sure you're doing things right. Make sure that you are looking at your schedule the week before and saying, okay, what's really important for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is that we get these things done. How much time we're going to need for these things? And, and you, you know, you go through, go through, go through. And by the way, if, uh, if this is new to you, go to, um, and I'll put the link in the blog below, but it'll be jennifer-trust.com forward slash marketing calendar. I did a blog on how to create a marketing calendar and you can get, there's a, there's a handout to help you and all that fun stuff. It really helps you in deciding your projects and your marketing and, and uh, it's the same skill, whether you're planning out your marketing or you're planning out your projects, they're all intertwined and it all works the same. So you have to make sure that you plan appropriately the time that you do have and therefore, and oftentimes that even means planning, scheduling in your free time. Because if you don't do that, guess what happens? You end up working all the time. I know it happens. It has happened to me, right? And if I'm not careful, it does happen. So that's why you have to plan appropriately. So I hope that these four steps have been helpful for you. I'd love to hear from you if you are someone who tends to get into project overwhelm. Um, are these helpful? Which, which ones are you doing? Which ones are you going to commit to actually implementing? Put it on the comments. And like I said, if you need help with this, go to jennifer-trust.com forward slash marketing calendar, get the printout, watch the video, and get on your way to having time, being less overwhelmed, being out of overwhelm, feeling in control of your schedule in your life, and enjoying the ride to building your business and building your life instead of always feeling stressed out about it. So thanks so much. If you like this video, please do share it. And I look forward to your comments below. We'll see you next time.